Hey Vince Church, this is Andrew Tam with Daily Devotional for you. I want to have finished sharing uh, why I like this parable of the lost son so much today. I'm going to focus on the father. And you'll find a parable in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, 11 to 32. Let's start in verse 12. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. And we jump down to verse 20. So he got up and went to his father. This is after he came to his senses. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. Then we come down to verse 28. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. I just want to quickly touch on why the description of the father is so unique in this three um, distinct narrative between his interaction of his two sons. Start of the younger one, asking for his share of an inheritance before he passes, and he gave it to him. In first century Jewish uh, Palestine, in a Jewish culture, that is just not done and not heard of. I'm not sure if we go ask our Jewish friends we know today, and this would happen to a father, I don't think we're entertained. Forget a Jewish family, even in our own family. What's the likelihood of you giving your youngest his or her share of the inheritance and let them spend it however way they want? I don't think that's just done. Then you look at, in verse 20, when he was looking out for him. Not only was he missing his son, he was always on the lookout for this younger son while he was gone. And in the cultural context of first century Palestine, a man with this wealth and status will not be A, running because he'll be wearing a rope. B, he would probably wouldn't be looking out uh, on the porch, for lack of a better term, um, for his son because he'll be running something else. And then you go to verse 28, it talks about the older brother, which we talked about a bit yesterday, and they pleaded with him while he was angry wouldn't come in the house. I think this is so out of characteristic of culturally what a father would look like for, for first century Jews. And I think it's equally amazing for us to look at what our Heavenly Father is like to us in the current day culture. He will look for us, he will run to us, and he will plead with us if we're angry. And so... I think we, we should take heart that we can be angry at our God and we could run away, but He'll always be there watching for us. And thank you for spending these three days with us and I hope you have a great week.